Five friends embark on an exciting journey to a remote area of Texas in search of their favorite archaeology professor who has mysteriously disappeared. The professor was looking for the missing hippies who went on a quest for the Fountain of Youth. With their adventurous spirits and mountain climbing gear in tow, the group sets out to uncover the truth behind the professor's disappearance. As they follow the trail of clues, they stumble upon their professor's abandoned vehicle next to a hippie van, with a rope leading into a concealed cave. Intrigued and determined, Taylor, Jackie, Kara, and Veeves decide to investigate the cave, while Furby stays behind as their trusty backup. Little did they know that the cave held more than they bargained for. As they rappel down into its depths, they unwittingly enter a break in the space-time continuum, where time moves at a snail's pace compared to the surface. Their ropes, aging rapidly, snap clean, leaving them stranded with no way of returning to the cave entrance. As they press on, the group hears eerie whispers echoing through the cave, and they come across Furby's lifeless body on the floor, presumably fallen from above. Reviewing his video recordings, they make a horrifying discovery. They are experiencing a time distortion inside the cave, where time moves at a glacial pace. They also notice flashes of light above the cavern opening, which they deduce to be the rapid rising and setting of the sun on the surface. With desperation setting in, Kara decides to free climb out of the cave in search of a GPS signal. What she finds when she reaches the surface is utterly baffling. The surrounding area is unrecognizable, desolate, and rocky, with a peculiar triangular object hovering in the sky. When she returns to the cave after what seemed like half an hour, her companions insist she was gone for mere seconds. They compare their video recordings, revealing the stark time discrepancy. Their curiosity turns to fear when they discover more anomalies in Furby's camera footage. The flashes of light are not just day and night cycles, but entire seasons passing by in the blink of an eye. Before they can fully process this mind-bending revelation, a futuristic humanoid spaceman descends from the sky via a retractable ladder. However, he is quickly attacked by a savage being that seemingly appears out of thin air. The group scrambles to flee, descending deeper into the cave, only to stumble upon more primitive cavemen and the bodies of the missing hippies. They also make a jaw-dropping discovery. The Fountain of Youth is real, and it's hidden within the cave. Amidst the chaos, Taylor sustains a severe injury while trying to lead the group to safety. Just when things seem dire, the spaceman returns, placing Taylor in the Fountain of Youth, miraculously healing him. Suddenly, a group of cavemen aggressively marched towards them. The spaceman went to fight them, but they overpowered him. With the help of a device from the future, he managed to neutralize the attackers, but the fight left consequences. The spaceman's condition deteriorates, struggling to breathe and speaking in an unknown language. He reveals through a series of media clips, including their own missing persons report and an announcement of a space station called the Ark, that he is out of time. He passes away, leaving the group stunned. Taylor goes on a mission to find Professor Hopper who he discovers injured in front of another time dilation where his long-lost sister is frozen in time. Along with a legion of Spanish conquistador soldiers locked in an eternal battle with the Aborigines for control of the fountain. The professor reveals that the missing hippies were his parents, and the cave has kept them in a timeless state. The group carefully places Furby into the mystical fountain of youth, brimming with anticipation. They eagerly prepare to leave the cave, using the spaceman's ladder that they had spotted earlier near the cave entrance. Their hopes are dashed when the cavemen pull down the ladder, preventing them from climbing it. However, Kara manages to make it to the top just in time, only to be whisked away through an aquatic portal by enigmatic grey-clawed beings before she can help her friends, who are now frozen in time. After a suspenseful moment, Kara reappears through the portal and she's completely transformed. She's now donning a futuristic outfit that seems to integrate with her body through rope-like mechanisms. 
Her friends, Furby, Hopper, and Hopper's revived family then go through the portal. As they all emerge on the other side of the portal, they find themselves in awe-inspiring surroundings. They are aboard ARK, a triangular space station that hovers above the Earth, boasting cutting-edge technology and a futuristic atmosphere that leaves them speechless. Thank you for watching.